Recovery Coffee Industries number 2H. Cousin Luke, a multi-time winner here at Utica Rome Speedway last season. The 4C, that is Toby Cooper. The Irkwix Auto Crushers number 4C. Behind him, the Wood Racing 22 is Tim Wood. Devin Kamengay in the 110, the Kamengay Construction number 110. George Cushman out there, the Cushman Heating and Air number 13 car. And Johnny Holmes out there, the Ralph's Collision, Ralph's Complete Auto, number 28H. The 715, Jason Morrison on the side security, BNK Garden Supply, number 715, the sponsor on that car. Yellow lights coming on here, yellow and checkered on our Pro Stock Hot Laps. One of our 14 cars, not sure if it's Hunter or Mike Keith. But one of the Keiths around over there on the outside of the banking in turn number one. He's got it fired and rolling away, however. So they will make their way out off, or excuse me, off of the racetrack. And we will get set to roll out now the Taylor's Trailers Crate 602 Sportsman for their hot lap session. Again, at last count, 46. Taylor's Trailers, Crate 602 Sportsman. They're going to have five heat races this afternoon. Five heat races as well for the Three Bastards Brewing Modifieds. pair of Concies for both divisions. We've got an action-packed night of racing to kick off the 2023 season here in honor of Alex Friesen at the Home of Heroes. Live timing and scoring tonight and all season on the My Race Pass app. Join live timing, join My Race Pass for live timing and scoring at Utica Rome, Fonda, Georgetown, and the Short Track Super Series. Along with live timing and scoring, My Race Pass offers lineups and season long point standings. Go to MyRacePass.com or download the app to follow along with your favorite tracks, series, and drivers for 2024. That's the My Race Pass app. That's where our live timing and scoring will be all season long. The Midtel Solutions, number 12, Connor Prokop, a graduate from the limited sportsman ranks. Ted's Body Shop also on the right rear quarter panel of that race car. Prokop out of Middleburg, New York. Nick Root, the number 30 car. Nick Root driving in the FX Cabrera Honda SJP Plus Mohawk Northeast, number 30 out of Geneva, New York. Rolling into turn number one, Blake Sarpercone, the GM Automotive, American Fireworks, number 69. He's out of South New Berlin, New York. Don Bellin out of Mayfield, New York, the Big Boss Lady Racing, Paul's Auto Body, number 66. Rolling into turn number one, Brendan Gibbons, the Cloud Nine Cannabis, number B24, out of Amsterdam, New York. The 01, Dylan Nichols, twin car to the Blake Sarpercone machine with a different number. GNM Automotive American Fireworks, also the sponsor on that race car. Blaine Klinger, the Klinger Power Sports, number 9K. Klinger out of Walton, New York. Stephen Denton driving in these Tony's Pizzeria. J&J Automotive, number 44C. He's out of Sequoia, New York, rolling into turn number one. Zach Sabatka, the Sterling Lubricants, number 38, out of Parrish, New York. Ed Lucas also out on the racetrack, driving in the Oneida Lakes Brew House, Station 233, Simple Bar Entry, 77L, rolling off at turn number four. The 16X, that is Savannah LaFlair, the Sweet Frog Yogurt, number 16X machine, rolling down the home straightaway. Familiar sight in the flag stand, Joe Chris back for another season. Waving the sticks here at Utica Rome Speedway as cars continue to roll out Onto the racetrack. Out of Florida, New York, the Barron's Performance Warehouse, number three. That is Ryan Barron. Ryan Barron, panel fast, rapid tire services. Also on that race car, Ryan Barron out of Florida, New York, rolling into turn number one. Ed Downing out on the racetrack, the Palmer Service Center, upscale exotics, number 44C. Michael Wagner Fitzgerald out on the racetrack, the SNS Mobile RV Repair. Number 88 car, rolling off at turn number four, right here in that number 88. Joe Chris winding them up, 
We are good to go here. Session number one, Tyler Corcoran out on the racetrack. Corcoran, some new sponsors on his race car this year. The Power Seal, Eagle Chevy Performance, number 64. He's out of Central Square, New York. The number 40D, that is Butchie Irwin, the Duff's Power Sports, number 40D, heading down the back straightaway and into turn number three. I don't know if we got them all. We got most of them that are out on the racetrack right now. Keep an eye out, see if there's any more we missed. Taylor's Trailers, the new sponsor for the Crate 602 Sportsman Division this season. Tell you a little bit more about them after the checkered here. As session number one for the Crate 602 Sportsman. On track now, Nick Root, 20.277, the quick time thus far. Quickest by nearly half a second right now is the 30 of Nick Root. We've got, looks like 16 cars on the track right now, at least according to the transponder loop, 16 taking time. Checkered flag comes out, so Nick Root stays the quickest, 20.277. Zach Sabatka, 20.593. Ed Lucas, 20.706. Tyler Corcoran and Ed Downing, the five quickest after the first session. Taylor's Trailers, our new Crate 602 Sportsman Division sponsor this season. Taylor's Trailers offers a variety of services, including trailer sales, re trailer sales repairs, delivery, inspections, and on-site financing. Taylor's Trailer Sales include, but are not limited to, cargo trailers, dump trailers, utility trailers, concession trailers, and contractor trailers. In addition to trailers, they also offer sales on sheds and electronic bicycles as well. To learn more, visit them on the web at taylorstrailersllc.com, like Taylor's Trailers LLC on Facebook, or call 315-293-7979. Group number two rolling out onto the racetrack. Peyton Talbot leads them out. The Ted's Body Shop, Parker Excavating, Brodell Fuel Group, number 14T, leads them into turn number one. Carson Rothwell, the Ted's Body Shop, number four car, pulls up alongside of him. Clayton Dumond also out on the speedway. Dumond was quick on Tuesday night in practice. The Blaze Racing, Christ Church of the Hills, number 314. Matt Richardson, the Energy Savers, number 262 car. Richardson out of Morrisville, New York. The 10A, 10A out on the racetrack, A.J. Digsby, the Ted's Body Shop entry. As green flag is out here on group number two. Mike Richmond, the hybrid spray foam insulation. Number 22, X car rolling through turns one and two. Matt Perry, the Perry Sunflower Maze, number 74. Pat Mann, the United Petroleum Services, number six car. Chip Constantino's in the Palmer Service Center. DKM Fabrication, number 63. EJ Gallup, the FX Caprera, Harley-Davidson, 5EJ. That's the coach. EJ Gallup coming to the white flag. We got a yellow car around over in the middle of turns one and two. Yellow flag coming out. Mike Richmond goes around in turns one and two here. Richmond, another one of our quick timers in our Tuesday practice session. Is not off, not off to a good start here. But everything looks okay. 22X will get her spun around, and hopefully we get right back to it, get these guys their last lap in. Seth Martin out there, a former limited sportsman champion here, the counterfeiters, number 621 machine rolling into turn number one. Jared Labah, the comfort experts, number 38 car here rolling down the home straightaway. Jared Labah in the 38 car. There's Butchie Irwin still out in the 40D. The 9G, that is Mike Nagel Jr., the New Edge Diamond Services, number 9G car, rolling through turns one and two. Just ahead of him in the 22, that's Nick Plumstead, the McCloskey Excavating, number 22 car. And I think we've got them all out here in group number two. Nick Root still the quickest. Mike Richmond did jump to third quickest at a 20.667. Checkered flag coming out on the 14T of Peyton Talbot.
Jared Labah jumped to fourth quickest, 20.677. So Mike Richmond, 20.667. And Labah, 20.677, jumps to fourth quickest. Butchie Irwin, fifth quickest, 20.695. Another group of Taylor's Trailers, Crate 602 Sportsman, heading out onto the racetrack. Mike Fowler leads them out, the 410 machine, the FX Caprera family of dealerships, number 410. That is Mike Fowler. He's out of Fulton, New York. Behind him, Nick Zielinski, the Zielinski's asphalt number 11 car. David Hackett, another former limited sportsman champion here, the Lamb Speed Shack number 82. Tyler Bobar is in the 12B, the Schultz Auto Center 12B. The Fitzpatrick family ties number 55. That's Matt Fitzpatrick, or excuse me, that's Johnny Fiegels. Johnny Fiegel's in the number 55. Matt Janzik, the Whitaker Ford. Ted's Body Shop, finish line designs, number 33X. David Rogers, the Lakeside Outdoor Services, number 44. Rogers led a lot of laps at Port Royal in the Speed Showcase 50 for the sportsman. That was his first time on American Racers. Last year's limited sportsman champion, the graduate, out of New Berlin, New York, the High Voltage Hills. Number 67W, that is Zach Welch. Johnson Farms also on that race car. Tanner Warner, the ProCare Property Maintenance, Big Dogs Towing, number 78 car. Alan Hodge is in the Brodell Fuel Group. Gilligan's Ice Cream, number 7H car. 23 is David Dickey. He's in the Upstate Company's number 23 machine. Sean Frost, he was here on practice. He threw a curveball at us. Car was all red. He didn't sign in, but we got him figured out. He's in the Matthews Buses, red number 15 car. Out on the racetrack, one over the bank over in turn number two. I think Bobar did a complete 360, but able to keep it going. We stay green here on session number three for the Taylor's Trailers Crate 602 Sportsman, and this is going to be the final one. Nick Root still quickest. Zach Sabatka second. Matt Janzik 20.620 is third quickest. David Rogers fourth. And Mike Richmond rounds out the top five. Now David Hackett Jr. climbs to fourth quickest as the checkered flag is out. And car going around at the top of one and two. The 11 of Nick Zielinski. So the quickest in that set, third overall, the 33X of Matt Janzik, 20.620. It was Nick Root, though, quickest in Taylor's Trailers, Crate 602 Sportsman Hot Laps, 20.277. Zach Sabatka, 25.93. Matt Janzik, 26.20. David Hackett, Jr., 26.34. And David Rogers, 20.666. The top five, Mike Richmond, Jared Labah, Butchie Irwin, Ed Lucas, and Tyler Corcoran. The 10 quickest in Taylor's Trailers, Crate 602 Sportsman. Hot laps. Three Bastards Brewing Modifieds make their way out on the racetrack. We are right at the 45 mark for the Three Bastards Brewing Modifieds, all in pursuit of the $6,800 payday tonight in memory of Alex Friesen. Alan Barker, the first car out on the racetrack, driving in the Scenic View Campground, Christian Fabrications, number 77. Barker out of Norwich, New York. Cody Clark, the Hoyanga Racing, Upstate Motorsports, number four car. He's out of Fallville, New York. Willie Decker out of right here in Vernon. Willie Decker in the 1X machine. That's the Stetches Lawn and Landscape. Kenny's Auto Body, number 1X. Dalton Slack, his first time here at Utica Rome Speedway under BD Motorsports Media Rules with the American Racers on the transport and sales, number three, RS, Dalton Slack out of St. Catharines, Ontario. The Ginger Ninja, Jack Laners here in the Benson's Pet Center, 
number two machine. Alex Payne, the Nardozzi Construction and Paving, number 70A, a winner here last season. Money Matt Williamson, the Barons Performance Warehouse, number three. Matt Shepard's out there, La Harlock Auto and Speed, Givens Produce, Westmoreland Golf Club, number 9S. Shepard, the defending, three-time defending champion here at Utica Rome. Big D, Daniel Morgevitz in the 15M car, the Schubach Farms Incorporated, sod number 15M. Morgevitz out of Goshen, New York. Tim Main driving the Ted's Body Shop, Next Generation Graphics, number 8M. Tim Fuller is in the St. Lawrence Radiology, number 19 car. Chris Curtis, the Dry Zone Racing Development, CNC Plumbing, Lindell Fuels, number 35 car. Jason Riome, the Highland Enterprises, number 27. I think we got them all there just as the checkered flag comes out, and the checkered comes out. Quickest time, the 9S of Matt Shepard, 19.6. Three, two. Matt Shepard, nineteen six three two. Alex Payne, a nineteen seven six three. Matt Williamson, nineteen seven nine three. Your top three after group number one. Group number two leading them out. Tanner Van Doren, the Charlie Lord owned Design Concepts and Enterprises, number ten C machine out of Schnecksville, Pennsylvania. Rolling by him. In the Mercer Milling Company, number 19W, that is Justin Wright. Right out of York, New York. Jim Gould moving up to the modified division. Gould in the Great Northern Auto, number 28G machine. Josh Allen, the tire discount services.com, number 4A machine. The Franklin Flyer, Billy Decker, the Smith Site Development, SJP Plus, number 91 car. How about this one? Tim Sears Jr., his first career start in a BD Motorsports media promoted race. Tim Sears Jr., the ENV Energy Solutions number 83X Timmer in the house here at Utica Rome Speedway. Mike Mahaney, the George Huddick owned Huddick Chrysler Dodge Jeep and Ram number 35 car. Adirondack Auto also a sponsor. He's out of Elizabethtown, New York. Behind the two of them, the MP delivery number 7Z. That is Zach Payne heading down the home straightaway. Matt Caprera, the FX Caprera Ford number 11 car. Brandon Locks in the 23. He's going to call Utica Rome Speedway his home on Friday nights this season. Brandon out of Masonville, New York, the Tri-County Collision. Ericus Cakery, number 23 car. Mike Maresca, double M, Maresca. Driving in the FX Caprera Honda. St. Lawrence Radiology, number 7MM out of Potsdam, New York. B. Walt, Brandon Walters in the Kelly's Country Kids Daycare, number 22 machine. Danny Creedon back behind the wheel of that 1J machine. The Bridge Marketing, number 1J. And the 97, that's Randy Chantel out of Oneida, New York. Chantel, a local boy. As a checkered flag comes out, the Baldwinsville Bandit. Jimmy Phelps also out on the racetrack. The JNB installations. HBR number 98H. That is Jimmy Phelps here tonight. Matt Shepard stays quickest. Billy Decker goes to second quickest at a 19664. So Billy Decker quickest in that group, second overall, 19664. Jimmy Phelps, a 19761, third quickest. Alex Payne, 19763. And Matt Williamson, your top five. Group number three for the three Bastards Brewing Modifieds making their way out. Alex Yankowski leads them out. The Wilcox Ceiling and Paving, Wilcox Construction. Millman's Napa Auto Parts, number 84Y, Alex Gantkowski out of Covington Township, Pennsylvania. RJ, Ronnie Johnson, the Mickels Automotive, Witz Roofing, 2RJ. He's out of Dwaynesburg, New York. Addison Bowman, the Senior Services Incorporated, BDR Speed, number 12 car, uh, the Mexico Madman, Addison Bowman. Jim Walsh, the 369 car, rolling into turn number one. Jeremy Slazic, the Christian Fabrication, Weak Spray Foam Insulation, BDR Speed, number 16S. Slazic out of West Winfield, New York. He won the last modified race here back at the end of last season. The Halmar International, Bart Contracting, number 68, a throwback to his uncle Alex, Stuart Friesen. In the Halmar International, number 68 behind him, the 1ZTs, 
Core Pack Merchandising, Hamar International number one Z. That is Jay Z, Jessica Friesen. Hack Fab, Bobby Hackle out there, the Killer Crate Racing Products. Godgart Motorsports number 97. He's out of East Greenbush, New York. Andy Graves is in the Yerkowicz Auto Crushers number 96, the graduate from the Pro Stock Division. Graves out there in his number 96 car. The 93, the Ed Mongero, number 93, that's Ryan Odaz in the Mags R Us Ignitions, number 93 car. The Flying Squirrel, Rocky Warner out on the racetrack. The Jason Simmons Racing, Fast Forward Dirt Works, DNS Landscaping, number 98. Rocky Warner out of Johnstown, New York. Mike Trouchel, Drew Lucky, number one at the pre-race draw today. He's driving in the Quality Forestry Management LLC, number 28 car out of Roscoe, New York. And the final, Three Bastards Brewing Modified out for hot laps today. The Ingram Racing Engines, LM Mason Contractors, 21C out of Johnstown. That is Brian Calabrese. Third and final set underway for the Three Bastards Brewing Modifieds. We will roll into the Fast Line Performance Limited Sportsman next. But we are in track record territory here in hot laps. We've got two guys quicker than the track record. Rocky Warner jumps to third quickest, 19.729. Alex Yankowski to second quickest, 19.598. Ronnie Johnson, Alex Yan, or excuse me, Stuart Friesen, 19.469. Boy, the third group here came to play. They have found the fast way around the speedway. Stuart Friesen, 19.469. Ronnie Johnson, 19.524. Jankowski, 19.598. We have got them ripping. We are well into track record territory right now. Track record here at Unica Roma Speedway, April 29th, 2022, set by Max McLaughlin, a 17.747. Everybody in the top six. Quicker than that 7.47 in hot laps. So Max McLaughlin got a World of Outlaws late model win the other night. Well, he might lose the track record here at Utica Roma Speedway. I'm sure he'll take the trade. But we are in track record territory for the Three Bastards Brewing Modifieds. Here on Alex Friesen Remembered Night. Three Bastards Brewing, our modified division sponsor. Three Bastards Brewing is a year-old brewery now located right down the road at 5349 Route 5 in Vernon. With a unique menu of food and beer available, head there hungry and leave happy. Like them on Facebook to learn more. We were just there. I don't know what night we were there. Wednesday, Thursday, something like that. Had a good time. Three Bastards Brewing, an excellent place to go hang out, have some drinks. They have live music, live entertainment pretty frequently, so a great spot to go hang out. And as we always say, support those who support racing. So go hang out with our friends down at Three Bastards Brewing. The Limited Sportsman, Fast Line Performance Limited Sportsman, making their way out onto the racetrack now. I don't think Dave Richards is a limited sportsman. Limited Sportsman out on the racetrack now. Fast Line Performance, Limited Sportsman. Fast Line Performance is a full shock repair center located in Chadwick's, New York, from Louisiana to Delaware to right here in New York. Fast Line is your home for race winning shocks, whether they be Fox, Penske, Dig, Bilstein, or Integra. Like Fast Line Performance on Facebook to learn more. Fast Line Performance, our Limited Sportsman sponsor. Limited sportsman out, and then we will go fond to fair four cylinders to round out hot laps. For those of you at home watching on Flow Racing, following hot laps, we're gonna go, we're gonna take a quick break for commercial. But right now, limited sportsman out on the racetrack. And if you're at home wondering, 
Well, what's the difference? What am I looking at here? The limited sportsmen are the same race cars as the Taylor's Trailers Crate 602 Sportsman. The difference, just experience for the drivers. So all of our limited sportsman competitors just looking for experience, looking to gain seat time before they move up with the regular Crate 602 Sportsman. But the cars, how they function and everything under the hood uh, is the same. But this used as a learning opportunity for these young drivers before they move up with the regular Crate 602 Sportsman. We've got all of them out here together. Eric Jensen, 21-3-1-8, the quickest for the Fast Line Performance Limited Sportsman. Bobby Newman, Andrew McFadden, Dave Richer, and Matty Brodell, the top five. As I mentioned, though, Dave Richer probably just missed regular sportsman hot laps. He is registered as a Taylor's Trailers Crate 602 Sportsman. Final division rolling out on the Speedway, the Fonda Fair, four cylinders. Fonda Fair, the 2024 Fonda Fair will take place August 28th through September 2nd, right down the throughway at the main Fonda Fairgrounds to keep up with the Fonda Fair. All the updates like Fonda Fair on Facebook, go to thefondafair.com. We also want to welcome the folks from the Fonda Fair. They are here with us today in one of our VIP towers. Also got multiple apparel trailers open behind the grandstands. The Utica Rome Speedway apparel trailers open. Apparel hot off the presses from Bob Hilbert Sportswear is available behind the grandstands right next to the main concession. T-shirts are $20. Hoodies are $40. Hats are $25. We've also got ladies tees and ladies hoodies available. The ladies tees are $25. The ladies hoodies are $40. The ones and tees apparel trailer here, which doesn't just have Stuart and Jessica Friesen, several other drivers available, their shirts available at the 1CT's trailer. Matt Shepard, his apparel trailer is here, and the Fast Girls apparel trailer is here as well. Final set of hot laps underway here for the Fonda Fair four cylinders. Hot laps in the books here for the Alex Friesen remembered at Utica Rome Speedway. Track crew going to come out, do a little bit of touching up on the racetrack. For those of you at home on Flow Racing, we're going to take a quick commercial break when we come back. Opening ceremonies as we kick off the 2024 season here at Utica Rome Speedway.
or download the app. I mentioned my race pass, five timing and scoring for this season on the My Race Pass app or MyRacePass.com. Next Friday, we're back in action here at the Speedway. All five divisions we have here tonight, plus the slingshots on the Inner Oval kick off their 2024 season here at Utica Rome Speedway. And we're set to kick off Fonda Speedway next Saturday as well. We'll have all five of our divisions here, plus the Mohawk Valley Vintage Dirt Modified Series. That's next Saturday, April 27th. And then the following Friday, May 3rd, we're back in action here at Utica Rome with all of our divisions we have tonight. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we are just about set to go. Track crew has finished with their work, so we are going to get into opening ceremonies for tonight's racing action. So we ask that you please rise if you're able. Gentlemen, remove your caps for invocation, followed by the singing of our national anthem. First up for our invocation, I introduced our Speedway pastor, Mr. Greg Nitz. Thank you. Well, we have a couple of prayer requests. Well, really, we want to lift uh, the family of Dover Dave. That'd be Dave Cookshank, Dover Brakes, long time, long, long sprint car, modified sponsor, and that uh, he's going to be dearly missed. But we want to keep Julia Huddig and uh, Lloyd Drake in our prayers. God is with us, and he is in us. Let his majesty take over our humanity, and let's go to him in prayer. Heavenly Father, Lord God, we just thank you for this day that this family here at the Home of Heroes can come together, Lord. We pray that you be with us in this night. Give these drivers wisdom, perseverance, but most of all, Lord, protect us. Hedge protection with these drivers, fans, the officials, Lord. Just guide us, Lord, and just thank you that we can once again take a moment here to recognize you and come together. It's in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Greg. And now we pay tribute to our neighbors from the north, our Speedway flagger, Mr. Joe Chris, with the Canadian National Anthem. Oh, Canada. Terre de nos aïeux, ton front descend de flots en glorieux, car ton bras s'est porté le pays, il s'est porté la croix. Ton histoire est une épopée, des plus brillants exploits. God keep our land glorious and free. O Canada, we stand on guard for thee. O Canada, we stand on guard for thee. Excellent job, Joe Chris. Ladies and gentlemen, please remain standing as we pay tribute to our country, the brave men and women fighting overseas. Joe Chris, once again, with the singing of our national anthem. Oh, say, can you see by the dawn's early light what so proudly we hailed at the twilight's last gleaming whose broad stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight or the ramparts we watched were so gallantly streaming and the rocket's red glare the bombs bursting in air gave proof through the night that our flag was still there Oh, say does that star-spangled banner yet wave O'er the land of the free 
and the home of the brave. Great job. Thank you, Joe Chris. Thank you to Greg Nitz. Thank you to you great race fans here at Utica Rome Speedway. Those of you at home on Flow Racing, we're going to take one more quick break when we come back. Pro Stock Heat Races hit the track. We kick off 2024 here at Utica Rome. Welcome back to Utica Rome Speedway. We get set to go racing right on time. It's like Drew and I planned that. Next Generation Graphics Pro Stocks, heat number one, rolling out onto the racetrack now. They drew for their starting positions. This is the points opener. So the, the, we will be counting points. Real quick for those of you in the grandstands, we lost a cell phone and a pair of iPods. They were found at the Fast Girls Apparel Trailer. They are now in the main office. If you lost a cell phone and a set of AirPods and can identify them, they are now in the main office. First heat race lines up this way. Pole position out of Vernon, New York, the 22 Tim Wood and alongside of him out of Newport is the 22 W of A.J. Walters. Row two inside out of Oneida, the 15K, Mike Kozlowskis, and alongside of him out of Gloversville, the 2H, that's cousin Luke Horning. Third row inside out of Rome, New York, the 101 of Ed Kateri, and rolling off sixth out of West Edmiston is the 81 of Brett Belden. Seventh starting spot out of Vernon, New York, driving in the 4C, that's Toby Cooper, and alongside of him out of Oneida is the 28H of Johnny Holmes. And scheduled for the final starting spot out of West Winfield, New York, is the 28G of Gus Gould. Looks like we're missing a couple here. I don't see the 28H of Johnny Holmes or the 4C of Toby Cooper. That is our entire fourth row there. The 4C of Cooper and the 28 of Holmes. Oh, they're both on their way right now. So good news there, both of them 
able to make their way out. 17 Next Generation Graphics Pro Stocks, 44 Three Bastards Brewing Modifieds, 45 Taylor's Trailers Crate 602 Sportsman, 15 Fast Line Performance Limited Sportsman, and 14 Fonda Fair Four Cylinders. We're going to try, I believe, and go green here, try and get Cooper and Holmes up where they belong. Gould tag in behind them. And we're going to come right to the green. First heat race of the 2024 season here at Utica Rome Speedway. Next generation graphics pro stocks. Heat number one, eight laps. Top four will go to the redraw. Joe Chris, the first green flag of 2024, Utica Rome. Two they go. A.J. Walters, a good run around the top side. Walters grabs the lead. Here's Brett Belden up the inside. Belden drives by Horning back for the third spot. Horning got a little tight up on the cushion. Trying to settle in here again. Top four will go to the redraw for tonight's feature. Everybody else lines up, heads up. A lot of race cars here today. Hot laps working the track maybe a little bit more than normal. Track maybe a little bit more slick than these guys are used to being out first for heat races. And Kateri gets over the bank over in turn number two. Gus Gould will slide by for seventh. Meanwhile, Horning trying to shut the door on Brent Belden. That's for third. Cousin Luke's got the spot. Walter driving away up front, and the 101 of Ed Kateri's problems persist. He goes around in turn number four, and our first yellow of the new season. Our first yellow of the 2024 season comes for the 101 of Kateri. We'll quickly come back to the white flag. Leader A.J. Walters choosing the outside groove here. As I mentioned, drivers drew for their starting positions when they signed in. If you draw the number one spot, you have to start on the inside, but once we get a lap complete, leader gets lane choice inside or outside. So Walters, your leader, chooses the top. He fires first anywhere between the two blue barrels over here in turn number four. There's barrel one, there's barrel two. Walters fires first between them. Sun's coming out and the green flag is out. Another good run right through one and two. Belden gets a good run as well. And how about Johnny Holmes? Holmes is from eighth up to fifth and knock, knock, knocking on a door for a redraw spot. Horning trying to dive to his inside. Belden trying to roll through the middle. Wood slides right up in front of the 81. Good three, making a four-car battle here for the final three redraw spots. E.J. Walters trying to run away to high. Cousin Luke will tiptoe around the bottom. Holmes follows him. Belden trying to cross over. Tim Wood gives him a shot in the left rear quarter panel. And all of a sudden, our defending champion now on the outside looking in of a redraw spot. Coming to the cross flags halfway this time by Walter, still your leader. Cousin Luke up to second, and how about Johnny Holmes? Digging on the bottom side, Holmes up to third. Battle for fourth now. Tim Wood suddenly getting freight trained. Belden drives underneath of him, and Brett Belden now back into that final redraw spot. Wood back to fifth, Kozlowska sixth, Gus Gould is seventh, Kateri eighth, and Toby Cooper rounds out the field. Five complete, three to go. Holmes, Belden battling for the third spot. Holmes has been rolling through the field on the bottom. He's going to stick to it. Belden trying to creep around him through that middle groove. Good battle going here for the third spot. Belden drives it in a little deeper this time into turn number three. Twin sticks in the air. A.J. Walters, a winner here last season. Strong and consistent. Ran both Utica Rome and Fonda. And looking good right now here out in front of heat number one. Belden has cleared Johnny Holmes for that third spot off the second corner and down the back chute. So Belden to third, now trying to zero in on Cousin Luke, but the white flag is out one more time around. And A.J. Walters is four smooth corners away from a heat race win to open up the new season. Walters, Horning, 
Belden and Holmes, your top four. They've separated themselves. Belden coming after Cousin Luke for the runner-up spot. Nobody challenges A.J. Walters, though. He will cruise to a win in heat number one for the Next Generation Graphics Pro Stocks. Cousin Luke holds on to the runner-up spot. Defending champ, Red Belden, comes home third. Johnny Holmes gets the fourth and final redraw spot. And Tim Wood rounds out the top five. So the 22 W.A.J. Walters wins heat number one for the Pro Stocks. The 2-H cousin Luke Horning comes home second. 81, Brett Belden gets third. And the 28-H of Johnny Holmes are your redraw cars. 22 of Tim Wood rounds out the top five. Again, top four go to the redraw. The rest line up heads up. They all qualify. So Tim Wood will start ninth. Mike Kozlowskis will start 11th. Gus Gould 13th. Ed Kateri 15th. Toby Cooper 17th. The top four will draw for their starting positions. Top four out of each heat. Heat number two, pole position out of Johnstown, New York. A new look for the 715, that's Jason Morrison. He's out of Johnstown, and alongside him out of Waterville, the 13, that's George Cushman. Row two inside out of Gloversville is the six of Shane Playford, and alongside of him out of Bleecker, New York, the 25 is Steve Kosselman. Row three inside out of North Brookfield, New York, the 14K is Mike Keith. And alongside of him out of Troy, New York, is the 110 of Devin Camengay. Final row inside the 74 and Jim Normoyle. He ended last season on a hot streak. And the final starting spot also out of North Brookfield, the 14-H, is Hunter Keith. So we slide them up. The 715 of Jason Morrison electing to start at the tail. So Morrison will start at the tail. So now Cushman, your new pole sitter with the six of Shane Playford alongside. Again, four will go to the redraw. Everybody else lines up, heads up. Four tonight's. Number two for the Pro Stocks. Green flag is out. And we got one around already. One of the Keats. I believe. That's one of the Keats. I can't tell which one because I think they both have 14 H's on the car as well. Nope, so that's Hunter Keith. 14H is Hunter Keith. 14K is Mike Keith. So that was Hunter that went around. No laps complete. Will be a complete restart minus the car involved. So we will double them up here. Keith will make up the final row. And it's once again Cushman and Playford. Now Kosselman. And Norm Oil in row two. Good jump up the outside of the front row for Playford. Well, Camengay had a good run through the middle, got squeezed out of it between Norm Oil and Kosselman. Five cars all right together here, packed tight on your screen as Cushman rolls off the top side. Here the three wide just behind him. Cam and Gay backs out of it. Morrison trying to dig on the bottom side underneath the Steve Kosselman. Morris, Morrison takes that fourth spot away. Here comes Cam and Gay around the top. Cushman swings wide off the corner. Norm Oil and Morrison both drive by him. Norm Oil to second. Jason Morrison trying to grab that runner up spot away from him. Morrison up to third, and now we're three wide nearly for fourth. Cushman by a car length over Kosselman and Camengay, who are side by side right behind him. Camengay right through the middle. Cushman trying to squeeze him. Camengay, though, get gets a good run here up at turn number two. Devin Camengay trying to race to fourth. Jason Morrison trying to roll the bottom side underneath of Jim Normoyle. Shane Playford is cruising out front here. Three laps complete. 
Burford, then Morrison and Norm Boyle, and now Cam and Gaynor for it. Morrison, a good run on the bottom through one and two. Jason Morrison will slide up in front of Jim Norm Boyle, and Jason Morrison, that brand new 715 car from last now into the runner up spot. Cross flags halfway through heat number two for the next generation graphics pro stocks. Clayford continuing to set the pace. Cam and Gay right through the middle, closing in on Norm Oil for the third spot. Good battle for that third spot going on right now. As you see, double box. Now we jump back to third, and Cam and Gay will slide underneath the Norm Oil. Morrison is closing in on Clayford. Good battles going on here at Utica Rome. The top four have stretched out their advantage. So our four redraw cards right now appear to be pretty settled in as Joe Chris has the twin sticks in the air two more times around. Jason Morrison was scheduled to start on the pole, maybe just wanted to make it interesting. He's closing in on Shane Playford right now. Morrison is there. He'll drift up a little bit off of two. Playford a little bit straighter off the corner. Playford. Opens up a couple of car lengths. Cam and Gay trying to close in on the lead duo. I think he's going to run out of time. The Cam and Gay might be a little bit quicker than both of these two, at least at the moment. White flag is out. One more time around. Cam and Gay is definitely closing in. Again, they're all in redraw spots. It won't make a big difference. The only thing that changes is where in the order you redraw. Chances are the same to get anywhere from one through eight for the feature. Checkered flag is out. Shane Playford's going to hang on to it. He will get the heat race win. Jason Morrison second. Devin Kamengay gets third. Jim Normoyle gets the fourth and final redraw spot. As always, I am sure we will have a great pro stock feature tonight because that's really just what the pro stocks do. Six of Shane Playford, 715 Jason Morrison, 110 Devin Kamengay, and the 74 end of Jim Normoyle are your redraw cars. George Cushman comes home in the fifth spot. First of five. Three Bastards Brewing modified heat races set to roll out onto the racetrack. Here is how they will line up. Pole position out of Roscoe, New York, the quality forestry management. Number 28 is Mike Trouchold, and alongside of him at a Boston Spa, New York, in the Mags R Us, number 93, that's Ryan Odaz. Out of Lakeport, New York, the number 369, that's Jim Walsh. He'll roll off third, and alongside of him out of New Berlin, the Ted's Body Shop, Next Generation Graphics, 8M is Tim Main. Fifth starting spot out of Mexico, New York, the Senior Services Incorporated. BDR speed number 12 is Addison Bowman. And alongside of him out of Fultonville, the Palmer Service Center, DKM Fabrication number 76 is Jamaica Soul. Seventh starting spot out of Covington Township, Pennsylvania, driving in the Wilcox Ceiling and Paving. Wilcox Construction number 84 wide, that is Alex Yankowski. And alongside of him out of Little Falls, New York, the Hoyanga Racing, Upstate Motorsports, Number four, that is Cody Clark in the final starting spot. Trouchold. Odez, bring us to green. We are off and running. Eight laps, top four will qualify top two to the redraw. Only two will grab redraw spots. Things getting bottled up a little bit behind Jim Walsh. Alex Yankowski, the car to take advantage. Yankowski from seventh to third here quickly. Bowman fourth. We got one over the bank in turn number three. He will complete the opening lap. And the yellow lights will now come on. 369 of Jim Walsh. Didn't quite fire. And now over the bank over there in turn number three. And hopefully Walsh can get it fired and rolling. Barney's on scene. Barney back in action for another season.
will rejoin. We did complete the opening lap. Good news if you're an 84Y fan. Yankowski seventh to third in that opening lap. Again, only the top two will go to the redraw tonight. The top four are qualified. Everybody else will go to one of our two consolation events. Trouchel, Odaz, still the front row. Your leader, Trouchel, chooses the bottom. He'll fire first. Green flag is out. We're back on the right. Lord Gevins as well. Lord Gevins from ninth trying to move into a qualifying spot. Odaz gets shuffled out here in the restart. Here comes Cody Clark. And as Jeff Allen would say, erase what you just saw. It will not count the 369 of Walsh. Again, around this time in one and two. And we will keep an eye on the 369. He has pulled to the infield. And looks like he's going to stay there. It is a complete restart. Single file, however, single file restart. Two yellows on the same lap mean we go single file. So we're only one in, still seven to go here in heat number one. Trout going nice and smooth through one and two. Hello. Bit of daylight. Now we got a three car battle here for the runner up spot. Deep on the top side, 84 wide. Trying to roll through the middle around Odaz. Addison Bowman in the picture as well. Moves around Odaz. He'll grab the runner up spot. Odaz now settles in at third. Addison Bowman has the final transfer spot. And we're Gavitz around the bottom. Cody Clark trying to work up on the top side. Clark trying to make something happen in his Hoy Anger Racing number four. Bowman a bobble down there at the bottom of three and four. Where Gavitz does the same. Where Gavitz, here comes Jermaine Soul. and now he's to fifth. Does he have one more spot in it? second. Bowman within just a couple of car lengths here of Odaz. Addison Bowman trying to make something happen here for the third spot. Cody Clark hoping that Bowman can get there and they can duke it out. Maybe Clark can get there. White flag is out one more time around. Troutfield has been locked in here from the jump, the 28th. Well, Yankowski from seven, they will make it happen to get into a redraw spot. Here's Bowman for third. Bowman in the inside of Odaz off of turn number two. Bowman grabs the third spot away. Odaz on the bubble. Checkered flag is out. Mike Trouchel wins three bastards brewing. Bottom line, heat number one. Yes. And Ryan Odaz holds on to the final transfer spot. Clark certainly wishes he had one more lap. He had caught for Odaz. But out of time, sand in the hourglass runs out. Clark will go to the con seat. 28 of Mike Trouchold wins heat number one for the Three Bastards Brewing Modifieds. 84Y, Alex Yankowski gets second. They go to the redraw, the 12 of Addison Bowman. And the 93 of Ryan Odez are locked into the show. Heat number two, pole position out of Stanley, New York, the MP delivery number one. 7Z is Zach Payne, and alongside of him at a Central Square, New York, the ENV Energy, number 83X is Tim Sears, Jr. Third starting spot at a West Winfield, New York, the Christian Fabrications, weak spray foam, BDR speed, number 16S is Jeremy Slazic, and alongside of him at a Canandaigua, New York, and the Nardozzi Construction and Paving, number 70A is Alex Payne. Fifth starting spot at a Dwaynesburg, New York, the 2RJ, 
The Mickels Automotive Wits Roofing Entry, that is Ronnie Johnson, and alongside of him, the Smith Side Development number 91 out of Unadilla, the Thrilla, Billy Decker. Seventh starting spot out of Johnstown, New York. The Ingram Racing Engines, 21C, Brian Calabrese, and alongside of him out of Middleburg, the Irkwitz Auto Crushers, number 96, and the final starting spot out of Welland, Ontario, Canada. The Transport Services, number 3 RS, Dalton Slack. Number two set to go. We are off and running. It is Payne and Sears bringing the field to range. Finds the racetrack. Jeremy Slozik rolls the bottom side, and here comes Slozik trying to go third to first in the opening corner. Payne leaves the door open on the bottom. Now Zach Payne will shut the door. Here comes Tim Sears back into the picture. Slozik really trying to hook the bottom. Really got into the here comes Billy Decker. Billy Decker, low and slow. Here comes the 91. Slazic and Sears battling it out. Two, two car battles. One for a redraw spot. One for a transfer spot. Tim Sears Jr. trying to get comfortable on American Racers. Right now, the American Racers tire. Jeremy Slazic. For second. Billy Decker occupies the final qualifying spot. Decker, though, trying to get into the fray now. Jeremy Slazik under all kinds of fire. Tim Sears, now here comes Billy Decker. Slazik nearly left the door open. Decker jammed on the brakes. See Ronnie Johnson and Alex Payne, they're not out of it. Oh, Decker swings wide. Decker made a mistake. Payne gets a All kinds of action. Now Tim Sears with a mistake. Slazik coming back after him. Back and forth they go here in heat number two. Slazik looked like he might lose third. Now coming after Timmy Sears for a redraw. Halfway this time by hot and heavy action here in heat number two for the modified. Zach Payne ahead of it all. Slazic now into that redraw spot. Tim Sears Jr. to third. Alex Payne is up to fourth. Payne got by RJ and Billy Decker. And now Payne with a runoff of turn number two to the inside of Tim Sears. Sears trying to shut the door on him. And here comes RJ not giving up on that middle to top group to RJ. Rolling. into a qualifying spot. Payne trying to fight back with him here on the turn number two. Good battle here for the final qualifying spot. Jeremy Slazic has left Tim Sears Jr. behind. Timmy Sears under all kinds of pressure. Billy Decker still in the picture. Twin sticks in the air. Payne has moved up to the top. Sears nearly put him in a front stretch wall. Left him just enough room. Now Payne with a good run right through the middle of one and two. RJ's back to sixth. Where do you watch everybody? Back and forth they go. Payne trying to take third away from Tim Sears. White flag is out. This heat race has been hot and heavy and chaotic. Payne at the line's got third. Sears is back to fourth. Then Billy Decker's right in the picture as well. Sears leaves the bottom open. Decker makes a nose underneath of him. Sears holds him off. Up front, Slazic closing in on Zach Payne, but it's not going to come to fruition. Zach Payne wins. Heat number two for the modified. Jeremy Slazic in second. They're through to the redraw. Alex Payne is in All cars, what a race there in heat number two. Three bastards throwing modifieds. It's the seven C of Zach Payne, your winner. 16S Jeremy Sazic gets second. They go to the redraw. Seven A Alex Payne gets third. And the 83X of Tim Sears Jr. hangs on for the final qualifying spot. Heat number three, pole position out of Genoa, New York. The BA headers, 42P, Pat Ward, and alongside of him out of Peru, New York. Driving in the discount tire services, 4A is Josh Allen. Third starting spot out of Watertown, New York. The St. Lawrence Radiology, number 19, is Tim Fuller. And alongside of him out of Queensbury, the Trellos Motorsports, 111 is Demetrius Trellos. Fifth starting spot, the Dry Zone Racing Development, CNC Plumbing, number 35, is Chris Curtis. And alongside of him, 
Out of East Greenbush, New York, the Killer Creek Racing Products 97 is Bobby Hackle. Fourth starting spot, or excuse me, fourth row inside. Seventh starting spot at a scenic, in the Scenic View Campground 77 is Alan Barker. Alongside of him, the Bridge Marketing 1J is Danny Creedon. And the final starting spot, the Great Northern Auto 28 is Jim Gould. spots. Tim Fuller right up the inside. Fuller drives to second. Bobby Hackle. Bobby Hackle from sixth to fourth on the opening lap. No one J.F. Danny Creighton. He did not answer the call. Number three with eight number nine schedule. Lap number one in the books. Pal Ward, a pair of veterans. Out in front, it's Ward, then Fuller. Trellos and Hackle, a couple of young guns, going to battle it out for third. Drellos drives it in deep through the middle of three and four. Hackle to the bottom side. Drellos drifts up. Drellos, though, in that outside move will take the third spot back from Bobby Hackle. Back and forth. Josh Allen is fifth. Chris Curtis sixth. Allen Parker is seventh. Again, only four will qualify. We've got two consolations tonight for the three bastards brewing modifieds. comes Alan Barker now. Barker gets by Chris Curtis. As we go double box here. Battle for third and fourth on your left. Your leaders on your right. Fuller content right now to follow Pat Ward. As we are halfway through. Heat number three for the three masters throwing modifieds. Previous heats, though, there is an outside group. Alex Payne made it work to get to third. Ronnie Johnson was making it work as well. But right now, everybody in this heat race around that bottom group. And car around over here in turns one and two. The yellow lights are going to come on. It's the 35 of Chris Curtis. Play here for those of you at home watching on Flow Racing. To me, yeah, Barker just didn't get in as hard as the 35 of Chris Curtis thought he was going to, and Curtis's two options were jump on the binders or take him out. And Curtis chose the option that I'm sure Alan Barker will be happy with. He jumped on the binders. Around he went. Five complete, three to go. Trellos muscling, they're fighting each other hard. Chris Curtis gonna try and quickly go to fifth here on the restart. A good restart for the 35. Top four unchanged as Trellos holds off Hackle, but Curtis, Curtis now drives it in deep into the left rear of Bobby Hackle. Good sticks in the air, two more times around. Curtis back down of it. Hackle holds on to fourth, and Alan Parker trying to move up to the top side. Chaotic restart there for a little bit, but Hackle able to scoot away with that fourth and final transfer spot. Here's fifth, sixth, and seventh. Allen trying to get a nose underneath. Josh Allen trying to get underneath. Allen Parker, white flag in the air. One more time around. Curtis has fifth. But if you think, well, they're outside of transfer spots, well, every position you gain, that's an extra multiple positions forward. You will start come consolation time. So those spots matter. Checkered flag falls. Pat Ward. Wins heat number three for the modified. The 19 of two in second. They are through the redraw. 111 of Drellos and the 97 of Hackle are your qualified cars. So the 42P of Pat Ward and the 19 of Tim Fuller. They go to the redraw. 111 of Demetrius Drellos and the 97 of Bobby Hackle are your qualified cars. 
the number four pole position out of St. Catharines, Ontario. That's the number three of Matt Williamson, the Barons Performance Warehouse number three, alongside of him out of 09 of the 97 of Randy Chantel. Third starting spot out of Schnecksville, Pennsylvania, the Charlie Lord owned number 10 C Tanner Van Dorn, and alongside of him out of Johnstown, New York, the DNS Landscaping Fast Forward Dirtworks 98 is Rocky Warner. Fifth starting spot out of Baldwinsville, New York, the JNB Installations. HBR number 98H is Jimmy Phelps. And alongside of him in the Kelly's Country Kids Daycare, number 22, that is Brandon Walters. Seventh starting spot out of Vernon, New York, the Stretches Lawn and Landscape. Kenny's Auto Body, number 1X is Willie Decker. And alongside of him in a pot stand, the St. Lawrence Radiology. FX Caprera Harley-Davidson, number 7MM is Mike Maresca. And the final starting spot out of Sprakers, New York, driving. Contact between your front row down the front straightaway. Williams and Chantel got together. Whole field scatters out. Everybody, though, gets through one and two cleanly. Williamson to the lead. Warner to second. Chantel and Phelps, your top four. Battle for fifth between Van Doren and Maresca. Maresca down on the bottom side. You see Jimmy Phelps trying to pick the road to the inside. Randy Chantel for third. And the one and two they go. Phelps hooks them on. Oh, Phelps might have caught a huge tire there. Might have just been the infield berm. Phelps will clear Chantel in the turn number three. Well, maybe not. Chantel drives it in deep, trying to hang on the side panel of the 98 inch Phelps. No, this time will clear him off the floor. So it's Williamson that corner now. Phelps to third, and Randy Chantel is dropped to the bottom. Chantel right now sitting in the final transfer spot. Yeah, Baresta and Finn. Van Doren sixth. Willie Decker and Jessica Friesen battling seventh and eighth. And Walters rounds out the field. Complete five to go. There's Maresca stepping out of line. Maresca moves to the outside group. Drives around Randy Chantel. And Maresca now into the final transfer spot. So Maresca to fourth. Now trying to pull away. As Chantel falls into the clutches of Tanner Van Doren. Jessica Friesen working to the inside here. Willie Decker halfway through. He number four for the three masters. Drew upon five. Williamson and Warner. Then Phelps and Maresca. Here's Van Doren to the inside of Chantel for fifth. Chantel can't keep it to the bottom. Van Doren driving underneath of him. TVD will take the fifth spot away. Can Chantel get in line or is she going to try and fight back on the top side? Just sideways there, just a little bit too sideways. Number four, Van Doren to hold the spot. And now here comes Willie Decker, the 1X and the 1Z. Next in line, trying to work by Chantel. Wind sticks in the air two more times around the hole of heroes here in the top four. Money Matt leads the flying squirrel. Then you've got the ball for go bandit. And I don't know any nicknames for Mike Maresca, but we'll work on it. Maresca in the final transfer spot a long way from fifth running Tanner Van Doren. Van Doren's under fire from Willie Decker. And Williamson might be under fire from Warner here. White flag. Warner swung wide up before, trying to do something a little bit different. Williamson's got him. Right three quarters of the second now. Maresca's closing in on Jimmy Phelps for third, but he's going to run out of time. Top four, unchanged, unchallenged. Money Matt wins heat number four here for the three masters. Boy modified. Warner gets second. Jimmy Phelps comes home third. And the 7 mm of Mike Maresca gets the fourth and final qualifying spot. So Money Matt, Matt Williamson wins heat number four. The 98 Rocky Warner comes home second. They go to the redraw. 98H Jimmy Phelps third. And the 7mm of Mike Maresca gets the fourth and final qualifying spot. One more Three Bastards Brewing modified heat race set to go. Pole position out of Elizabethtown, New York. The George Hudigone Chrysler Dodge Jeep and Ram. Number 35 is Mike Mahaney, and alongside of him out of Saratoga Springs, New York, the Benson's Pet Center, number two, the Ginger Ninja, Jack Laner. Row two inside at a Fort Plain, New York, the Highland Enterprises, number 27, Jason Riome, and alongside of him, the three-time and defending, three-time defending champion, the Herlock Auto and Speed, Westmoreland Golf Club, Givens Produce, number 9S, is Super Matt Shepard. Fifth starting spot at Spreakers, New York, the Halmar International, Bart's Contracting, Uncle Alex Friesen, throwback number 68, Stuart Friesen. And alongside of him at a Bainbridge, New York, driving in the Tri-County Collision, number 23 is 
Brandon Locks. Final row inside for some milling company number 19 W. Justin Wright in the final starting spot. Out of Clayton, New York, the FX Caprera Ford number 11 is Matt. 11 with the timing of the beat drops as we go green here. Modified beat number five. Final one for the three bastards. Brewing Modifieds is underway. Mahaney quickly into the top spot. Later holds off Shepard for the runner-up spot for now. Shepard driving it in deep, go through the middle of three and four. Shepard rolling the top. Oh, Later bobbles on the bottom big time. Later did not get a good run up before that time. And Shepard drives around him. So Shepard now into the runner-up spot. We've seen everybody, well, not everybody, we've seen a lot of guys rolling around the bottom side. The 9S not content to do that. Shepard has it working up in the outside group. Closing in now on the leader, Mike Mahaney. That's really good if you didn't know. Shepard rolling in on Mahaney. Here comes Freeze into the inside of Laner. Laner left the door open. 68 of Freeze, though, couldn't get there in time. Laner shuts the door. He'll hold third. Double box we go. Here's Shepard going after Mahaney. Laner and Freeze both move up down in three and four. Both go back to the bottom down here. Two, Shepard continuing to try and roll that outside group. Frieza made a big bobble over there in the middle of one and two, and he'll lose ground on Laner. Meanwhile, here goes Shepard. Cross flags halfway this time by, and Superman rolling the outside group, and Mahaney knows he's got something out. Superman trying to make it look easy. Mahaney, though, fighting back to the bottom of one and two. Bottom looks like it might be a little bit better in one and two, but three and four. Shepard really making that outside group work. Here he goes again. Side by side for the lead. This time, Shepard beats him to the line. Five complete, three to go, and the 9S is now right where he is at home and the Rome. The battle now is for third. Friesen gets a good run through the middle of the corner. Later missed the bottom. Friesen darts underneath of it, and Friesen takes third. Shepard swung way wide there up the floor, nearly jumped the bank. Mahaney gets a little bit closer. Shepard now will drop to the bottom. Twin sticks in here two more times around the speedway. Your top two have separated themselves from Friesen and Laner. Justin Wright runs fifth. Brandon Locke sixth. Matt Caprera is seventh. And Jason Rio rounds out our eighth part field. White flag is in the air one more time around. Friesen's going to win one for Uncle Alex. He's going to have work to do tonight. If my math is right, third in this heat race will start at 15. 9S of Matt Shepard doing the 9S of Matt Shepard things. He wins our final three bastards growing modified heat race. Third and five in the heat. He goes second. There to the free throw. 68 of Friesen. Two of Jack Laner are your qualified guards.